Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Heart Gold Nuzlocke. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna need no info needed, right? Yeah. I've always wanted to do one of these. This seemed really fun. Uh, hmm, interesting. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I was just reading this book here. Ooh, it's Pioke. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me Pro Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Let's see... That's a Meryl! Hmm. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Would you please tell me? Well, I'm a boy in your life, but I kind of like the girl character. I don't think I'm going to go with the guy. Oh yeah, yes. Please tell me your name, alright? Let's do Batfizz, alright? Lower. A. T. Oh, this is so weird. ABC. F I Z Z. Ooh, fits perfectly. Alright. Oh, and by the way, so. Nuzlocke rules. Let's go over them real quick. Because Professor Oak's just gonna ramble about unnecessary information. So, Nuzlocke rules. I have to catch every Pokemon in the first route. Or, the first Pokemon in every route to be on my team and if one of my Pokemon dies bye bye and so and all the Pokemon are randomized so which means all the wild Pokemon are randomized and all the starters are randomized so we get to see our starters which are super cool you're, fi you're finally awake your friend Lyra was just here she was playing hide and seek with her Meryl oh I almost forgot our acquaintance Professor Elm was looking for you he said he had a favor to ask of you. Oh no. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, he do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use the bag to carry things. Ooh, got a got a man purse. This is your trader card. Oh, my ID. Here you can save record of your progress. We got a notepad. There are also rather helpful things like options like the tools then just touch the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time all right so the first thing we want to do open up our options let's click that to fast um what do we want our frame to be what was that what's our first frame ah. since heart gold will go here confirm all right let's go see what everyone else is doing in the world of pokemon uh Ooh, Meryl. So I've played this game before, because I own it. And it's uh, it's one of the better Pokemon games, but I'm really like surprised like how good Pokemon has been like traversing like and upgrading. Like n the new Pokemon X and Y and Omega. I just started my Omega and I'm like almost at the first Dream Leader and it's so cool. They renovated every single thing. Ooh, alright. We got this guy over here, but it's kind of freaky, kind of stalking people. Uh, ooh, alright. Ooh, we get to see our, ooh, I'm so excited, we get to see our Pokemon soon. Hi, Batfizz, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days, but before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how your Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Alright, here we go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, hey, I just got an email. Dang, dang. Uh, mm, haha, uh, mm, okay, okay. Next. Hey, listen. 
I have an acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding these weird and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that it's time, it's real, it's real, it's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know, you can go into your place, right? We can count on you. You can choose some of the Pokemon over there. Oh, here we go. We get to see what our starters are. Oh, touch your Pokemon side to see what it is. Oh, well, that's actually a starter in this game. Oh, and a Squirtle and a Minky. Huh. I don't know. Koala is a fire type. Wow, mmm. This is hard decision. I don't know. Squirtle Koala. I mean, Squirtle's pretty cool. The Koala's already evolved. And so. It has a little more power. Yes. Alright, so we pick Koalava. Ooh, that was hard. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Give a nickname to your Koalava you received. Yes, I will. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Flame will name him. Uh, May. Hmm. He turns into, he has like this giant mane of fire. We'll call him Mufasa. Yeah, we'll do Mufasa. Also, with this randomized, you have to nickname everyone in your Pokemon to make it more fun. Mufasa. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got our first Pokemon down. It's, Muf it's Mufasa, the nickname you want to give. Yes. Alright, here we go. Uh, how do you know? How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? I just walked it for like two steps. You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should deal with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and find rarities in his house in Cherry Grove City. Go forth a little past the Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Batfist. Alright. I got my... M oh, okay. I just want you... I just want you to hire me to help you with your task. <laughs> Ooh, potions. Thanks, Ban. I'm gonna need these. Can't let my Pokemon die, or else it's gonna be a really bad first episode to the season. Ah, ooh. Ooh, fire versus water. Ooh, I should have resolved that. Well, that's awesome. Bad fits. So you picked. So you picked a Quilava! That's a cute Pokemon you have! When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around to it and talk sometimes too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. All right, I will show it to my mom. She will be so proud of me. I'm gonna be a big man now. Go on my own adventures, own worlds. Let's go check out this super suspicious guy. He has red hair, so I might call you Elmo. I don't know. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What? What are you staring at? Okay, well, that sucks. So he's a mean elf. Must be from the South Pole. <laughs> I love elf. The Christmas season just got over, and I'm still watching that movie. Oh, Bethis, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Poke Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you see? You see? What kind of task? Oh, I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes a kind of important request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Batris has received the Pokegear. The Pokemon Gear. Oh, Pokegear is often called what every trainer should have. Guess what? You could use the Pokegear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Yeah. Just power on the top. Names of the Pokemon can call you are automatically registered. Just select one and give her a call. Wow! I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call! I thought that was me saying it, but I guess I don't really speak. I'm like a mute in this. I'm just like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Matt Fizz's house, yep. Ugh. The walking. Wait, what? Wait, 
Wait, how do I do how do I do this one? Wait one second. Wait one second. There we go. I got it. <laughs> uh, I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Bathus Winster, Professor Elms, and Pokegear. Yeah. More old men in my phone. I'll call you if anything comes up. Oh, thanks. Don't do anything suspicious, Elmo. I'm watching you. Not anymore, but I was. Ooh, what is the first Pokemon encounter? So, the Nutsuck rules don't... Oh, that's a cool Pokemon. So you don't really apply until I get my Pokeball, so... My Pokemon can die. Actually, no, my Pokemon can't die. No, I can't get... It doesn't matter. I don't know Oh my gosh. I don't have a fire move. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is that... I can't catch any Pokemon yet, so therefore it doesn't matter if I have to catch a Snowbird or not. I'm gonna just tackle you because I'm gonna need to level up my guy anyways, so let's do a little tackle business on ya. I was really hoping this guy would have a fire move. Mmm, that's not good. Hill continues to fall. I hate, I hate the beginning because it's just like, tackle. Tackle, Leer, uh, what is the other one? Scratch. It's all those moves, and this, and then you have Snowbird here can use its elemental moves, but not me. Not me. I'm a starter Pokemon, and I don't get my moves till like one level, two levels later. So that's why I need to kill you, sir. I think Abomina Snow. My friend found a shiny Abomina Snow in his diamond. And I, it took me forever to convince him that I could have it. And I still have it. It's in... It's in my diamond? No. In my white. It's in my white. I have so much good Pokemon in my white game. It's sweet. I always use that to battle people. Mufasa game 74. Ooh. That's a level up, dude. Wait, you're... You're... Kalava, so I don't know if that impacts. Oh, man. Well, that was sweet. Well, I'm stronger than all the other Snowbers. Fight me. Fight me. Uh, at least we get the running shoes soon. Because this is getting annoying. I hate not running. Here we go. Oh no, it's a legendary. A freaking Entei. It's an Entei. <laughs> In the first route. Alright, tackle. Mm, okay, we do. We do a lot. Don't do that much. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> An ente right at the beginning. Level 2. Alright, well. At least we... Uh, no! <sighs> oh my gosh. Really? It's not worth it. Okay, whatever. He did leer back. Which kind of is a bad thing if he hits me. Ooh, let's see. Tackle again. Tackle again. Oh! one shot it. 62? Come on. I got more out of that Snover. Level 7. Fire? Fire attack? No. I'm gonna be attackless. At least the loot is... Ah. Uh... Did I randomize? I didn't think I randomized the items. Oh man. I don't, I don't think that was a... an object. Or a thing to check off. Oh well. At least we have randomized Pokemon. That's all we need, really. So here we go, trekking into the next town. Uh, ooh, the old man. Give me my shoes. Uh, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. Oh, thanks, man. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. I just beat an Entei. What do you do for a living? You run around giving children your old shoes. If you like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, follow me. Oh, so fast. Ooh, I'm sorry, I forgot you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible. Try keep, keeping up. This is Pokemon Center, the Hero Pokemon. Everyone knows this. If you need to... If you need to read it, just pause the recording. There you go. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Route 30. More trainers over there. 
Here's the ocean that leads to another part of the world after you surf over it. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> Some people are only found in water. Which means a whole, totally different range of Pokemon you can get. For your effort keeping with me, I'll give you my running shoes. I still want them. Ha 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 ha. I got you, didn't I? Don't worry, these are brand new. Alright, finally. Sweet. Mm hmm. Okay, well. Running shoes. Alright, ooh. Alright, oh, so we have to go to Mr. Pokemon's house first to get our Pokeballs, or... I made it, yes. Oh, we got a map card. I've never used a map card at all. I always just waited until I got fly to search. Select like the Poke Gear and the town map back out. Alright, thanks, man. Oh, wish me luck. What a sweetheart you are. Alright, um... A different route, so it's a different Pokemon. It still doesn't matter because. Oh. Uh, please, no water moves. Please, no water moves. Why the water moves? Run away, thank you. So, we are just gonna heal up real quick because that would be bad. Very bad. Lapras with water gun. Oh my gosh. That was almost really bad. I almost, <laughs> almost lost on the first... The first episode. That would have been humiliating. Thank you for winning. Alright, you're welcome. Come back anytime. Alright, I will. I'm gonna need to come back here a lot for the randomizer. Alright. As I do more randomized, I'll set more limitations, but we'll see. A Glameow. Hmm. Those are pretty cool. I like their second form. They're really tanks. Like, it's a tank, and it's like... It looks like a tank also, because it's super fat. Fake out. Get that first hit on me, alright? That's right. Is that your only move? That's your only move. Yep, it is. Alright, sweet. And boom. Uh, the loot went. Oh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> nope, they're not randomized. Alright. Whatever. That's fine with me. Uh, <laughs> watch. I'm gonna go past this house and it gets mad. Hey kiddo, how in the world can you be so oblivious to the eye-catching house? Hold it right there. That's where we get the apricorn box. Apricorn, apricorn. They say I have apricorns. Tree bear fruit once a day. Alright, Pokeball is quite useful. Thanks, sir. For the free stuff I get when I'm traveling. You must have, like, his whole house must be filled with these for how many trainers come through here. Alright, might as well grab this one. Rub, 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 green apricorn. It's kind of weird how it like spits it out. It's like unnatural. There are no apricorns. Sad. Uh, okay, no Pokemon. An antidote. Yep, definitely not randomized. So we're going to go off to Mr. Pokemon's house. It's the next step, I believe. Yep. Alright. Keep walking, trucking. Here we go. Into Mr. Pokemon's house. You must be Batfist! It was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. Oh, that must be where the egg is. Alright. This is what Professor Elm to examine a mystery egg. Could it be a Manaphy? Could it be a Togepi? I don't know. A friend of mine from Ikru Tech gave it to me. I don't know what that is. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. It might be Professor Elm be able to tell what it is. <coughs> oh, sorry, I just sneezed. He's the best when it comes to research Pokemon evolution. 
quilt from Favis Petherok. Oh, thanks for healing me, man. I needed it. Not really. Maybe like 5 XP I got from him. And with that, Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher, you're just Bathys, aren't you? Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon, I see. You must be uh, helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why. Professor Elm gave you this. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It's automatically coursed data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I I'd like you to have it. Bassif, I can't even say my own name. You receive, I received Pokedex. Just go with that. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. I've been stayed way too long. I have to get to the Golden Rod for my usual radio show. What a famous old man you are. I want an autograph, but I got his number instead. More old people in my phone. All right. Well, guys. That first episode was a blast, wasn't it? We got Professor Elm calling us to end up the episode. Hello, Baffis. It's a disaster. Um, it's just terrible. Oh no, Elmo. Elmo, what you do? So, come back next episode to see what Elmo does to the to the bad to the good people. Elmo's becoming evil. Don't watch that show. Sesame Street. No, Elmo. Stop. Stop. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and stay tuned for some more. Alright, see you guys later.